everybody, it's Bunny, and my voice still sounds disgusting, so excuse me while I'll take a sippy sippy. Ah. <laughs> so sassy. Today I'm going to do a shoe unboxing for you guys, and these shoes come, what is this? God. And I think I put on too much concealer today. Like, does anybody else do that with their makeup when they're not feeling quite up to par? And then they just, like, overdo it on the concealer. Am I too well rested today? Just too much? I got these shoes from a website that I had never previously heard of or shopped on before. But they contacted me and asked me if I would be willing to do a shoe unboxing. And I browsed their website. They've got a ton of Jeffrey Campbells. And they have some Jeffrey Campbells that are exclusive just to that website and I saw one of those pairs that was exclusive to the website that I absolutely fell in love with. The site is called Envy Shoes and these you, as I say with every shoe unboxing, you may have already seen them on Instagram and requested for me to do this shoe unboxing. They are the new Lita Gold and I'm about to say something that's an extreme oxymoron and I don't even think that the lighting is capturing these. It's really just like throwing everything off right now. I'm seeing that you can't see the heel at all. Maybe if I hold them back here. No, just my camera doesn't want to cooperate anymore. It's old and it's tired. These are almost kind of a muted yet shiny gold. They're really shiny, but at the same time, it's kind of got a brassy quality to it, if that makes any sense. And one of the reasons that I was so drawn in by this shoe is if you watched my December favorites, I've been wearing so frequently the Unif Axle pants, and a lot of of the zippers on those pants are this kind of brassy gold tone colors and if you'll notice the laces are red and a lot of you guys on Instagram said that you didn't really care for the red laces too much with the gold but I really like it it goes with a lot of my clothes that I've picked out for this winter you know like the leopard print I feel like the gold color goes with really well I generally wear red lipstick every single day so I feel like even kind of that ties into my entire outfit and I've also been drawn to a lot of like you know red velvets burgundy velvets so I feel like it's almost kind of a red burgundy but even if you like the gold shoe and you're not that much of a fan of the laces I mean you can get like two dollar black laces at Walmart or anywhere so sometimes I will probably even exchange the red laces for black laces but just personally Personally for me, the red laces were another thing that drew me into this shoe. I really like the whole package. I also like the heel on these is a black shade of wood instead of the brown that traditionally a lot of Lita's have. So I would just recommend, like, if you're really intrigued by the style of Jeffrey Campbell but you don't have any Jeffrey Campbell shoes yet, I would really recommend that your first pair be like a pair of Lita's because they're so easy to walk in even though maybe they don't look like it. I don't know. I get a lot of comments all the time on Instagram or whatever saying Lita's look like they would be really hard to walk in because of the platform, but they're very sturdy, very easy to walk in, and normally when I'm going to concerts or, you know, just kind of like things like that where I'm going to be standing on my feet a lot, but it's still kind of a dressier occasion, I always go for Lita's. These are the shoes that I was wearing on New Year's Eve, and I didn't do too much, but I did kind of go walking around, and these were the shoes that I wore because, you know, they're just, they're really easy to walk around in. They're comfortable. They do have a lot of padding in the sole of the shoe, so even though it's a platform, it's still cushy and comfortable to stand or jump or walk in. Very sturdy shoe, all leather, uh, which is something that I like because they last longer and the more you wear them, the more kind of like different, you know, textures that they take on or, you know, they just kind of get that worn in look of like an older leather item. 
Normally, all of my shoe storage, I just keep all of the Jeffrey Campbells in their original boxes, but Envy Shoes sends along this pouch, and it's unlike any other shoe pouch that I've ever gotten with any other pair of shoes, because it's got a separate pouch for each shoe, but at the same time, it's joined together, like it's stitched together, so it's actually kind of like one long bag, but it's been separated into two compartments, and I'm totally going to to keep this pair of shoes in this pouch because obviously it takes up less room being in a pouch instead of a big gigantic box but this still protects them from dirt and scratches and scuffs and everything like that and it's so cute because it has like a spiked Lita printed right on the bag. Not too much else to say about these shoes except for they're definitely a statement piece but I don't know they're kind of also to me like a statement piece that's very functional like I feel like it would be very easy to of course match bags and accessories with these. I'm kind of playing around with more golds I feel lately in my wardrobe. Generally I'm pretty much a strictly silver kind of girl but I don't know I'm really kind of liking golds lately because I'm really into leopard print lately and I feel like gold and leopard complement each other more than silver and leopard. Just comment down below and let me know your stance on that. I kind of feel like animal print and gold goes better. Unless, of course, it's zebra. I kind of feel like zebra and silver would be a better option, but anyway. So I went around and did a little jump jump in these shoes, and I will insert that clip now. That is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this shoe unboxing. I feel like it's been a while since I've done an unboxing. Has it just been like a week or something? It's just my how time flies. I love you guys. Please take a minute to subscribe if you're not already. Hit the button and become a member of the Swamp Family and give an alligator its wings. Also, if you want, you can like me on Facebook, facebook.com slash graveyardgirl, or you can follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, or Instagram. I forgot to do the finger at Graveyard Girl, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye!